Karen recently let us slip that she's thinking about breaking up with her boyfriend. Neil Fitzpatrick. My dear Karen, there have been so many. I counseled against it, which, of course, had the reverse effect. Anyway, now that I think about it, Neil reminds me of you. <laughs> I like Neil. Neil was different, considerate, but also the kind of strong hand that Karen needs in her life. <laughs> By all measurements, Neil Fitzpatrick was perfect. Karen claimed that he was becoming needy, deeply insecure, <sighs> posing as an equal partner in public but behind closed doors, looking for a mommy, a master. <sighs> Honestly, I doubted Karen's every word. I told her to stick it out. I mean, how could someone be so upstanding and strong one minute, then so weak and needy the next? It's impossible, right? I was wrong. Karen was right. And now I see you are my Neil Fitzpatrick. A delusional, insecure little boy who believes he's a leader, but in truth has only ever followed one girl to another, one master to the next, all the while looking strong and pretty on the outside. I see you. Olivia sees you. Oh, oh, Cyrus sees you. <laughs> Explains why it was so easy for him to steal you. Use you. <laughs> now see me. I earn this office. I am a leader of men. I will always be exactly what I am. And you will always be exactly what you are, Neil. Without the excuse of being young. <laughs> and soon enough, you will be all alone again. No master, no allies, no love, because time's up. We're coming for you.